Megan Brent from Grey House Studio and today we're going to show you the first project in our closet makeover. It's this wood plank wall that some people are calling shiplap. We're not really sure why it became so popular. I think we know why. Right, yeah, we know why it's popular. Oh yeah, and this is Connor. We're going to show you how we made this uh, wood plank wall and the wood we used to do it and the final product. So stay tuned. Before installing the shiplap wall in our master bedroom closet, we needed to remove all the shelves. Once all the shelves were removed, we pulled up the carpet and later realized we should probably put on some shoes. Doing a couple of different projects, we found that carpet tack strips are pretty annoying to remove, but a shovel seems to do the trick and it's better than any tool we've tried in the past. The shiplap is going to go from the floor to the ceiling, so the baseboards also need to be removed. After cutting the caulk with a razor blade all the way down the board, we used two putty knives to pry the board from the wall. The last thing we needed to do to prep the wall for the shiplap was to mark all the studs and we used a stud finder to do that and then used a large metal ruler to mark all the way up and down the wall where each stud was. Instead of using hardwood plywood that doesn't have any texture and we've seen a lot of people use that doing DIYs, we decided to go with plywood sheeting. This has a rougher texture. Using a table saw, we ripped each of the three sheets down into 7 inch strips, then sanded all the edges to avoid splinters. After the boards were lightly sanded, we painted two coats of paint on each board and the boards were ready to be installed. To start the first row of shiplap, we used a 3 quarter inch plywood scraps to allow space for the wood floors that we'll be installing later. Then we attached the boards to the wall studs with 2 inch brad nails, double checking that the boards were level all the way across as we installed them. Between each board we painted a 1 inch strip to make sure that the gaps were covered in between the boards. A nickel coin makes a great spacer in between the boards to keep everything consistent and level. To patch the nail holes we used a paintable caulk and once dry came back and painted it to match the shiplap. If you like the way our faux shiplap wall turned out, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel to check out more videos like this one. Leave any comments or questions below and we'll be happy to answer them. As always, check out StudioGreyhouse.com for more projects like this.